Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation. And as you see, we are down minus 1.24% uh, today, and it is just about time. It got significantly over, but we were way over the line here in the RSI, also at the top of the bullish band. So we could see this continue dropping towards the middle of the bullish band around 120 before rallying back to the upside. So that's a rally uh, breakdown of roughly 6.6%. And that's probably what we'll see in the coming uh, days. It's not going to be a sudden drop, it will be a gradual drop to the downside. Otherwise, we could also uh, bounce from the 150 moving average we did pull back quite a bit today as well so there is definitely the interest underneath here if you look at technical indicators we can see that macd is still bullish but it's becoming is rounding off the rsi is becoming bearish cci is still bullish and the rsi stochastic is still in bullish territory but has crossed the signal line but we are way outside we are very overstretched here and significantly overbought in the rsi so let's look at dvi so DVI has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, but still we have not breaking, broken above the 20 exponential. We rallied from the 100 moving average, and it may well be that we'll see very choppy trading uh, for the coming um, trading days. If we were to break below the 100 moving average, then we have the 150 uh, down here. But if we break above the 50 moving average, then we'll mostly going to target back at 124. We have not broken above the middle of the bullish band, and it looks like it is also offering quite a lot of resistance. However, technical indicators, they show signs of life. We can see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line in negative territory. RSI is bullish, CCI is uh, just above zero, and Stochastic is bullish at this current stage. So let's look at VTI. So VTI is up uh, uh, nearly half a percent um, at its all-time highs, but it's also getting very overstretched. So we're not overbought yet, but overstretched here in the bullish band as well. So we may see another three days when this uh, continues to rally, but it is getting fairly overstretched. So a pullback towards support at around the middle of the bullish band or the previous highs here of uh, give or take, uh, give or take, um, uh, 121 uh, that's probably where we'll find buyers coming back in we can see the macd is still is bullish the rsi is flat cgi is bullish and the stochastic is uh, flat as well so let's look at mchi so mchi has really pulled back and um yes it it is uh, kind of the trend here at the end of the last four months at least or five months we have seen this rally and the beginning of each month it tends to pull back so we may see this pull back all the way down towards the 300 moving average or the previous lows here down here at 70 or 80 uh, before rallying at the end of the month that is uh, how this has been behaving with a basically a loft of 84 that's how uh, that's probably where this will run into massive resistance or has been running into massive resistance around this area 82 84 so technical indicators we can see the macd is running is still bullish the rsi is flat cci is still in bullish territory but it's the cast has crossed the signal line and is very bearish and we have broken below the middle of the bullish band here and pulled back just barely so we could see this drop all the way down towards the bottom where there where we should find massive support before rallying back to the outside so let's look at ibb So IBV is at its all-time highs and uh, is up more than half a percent today. This is getting very overstretched here in the bullish band. Pullback should be expected at any point. Uh, MACD is still bullish. RSI is still bullish. Still room to the upside. CGI is a bullish and so is the stochastic. So it is looking very good. But due to the fact that we are outside of the bullish band here, um, could be a signal that we'll uh, see this drop within the next uh, one to three days. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. 
and good luck and thank you very much.